Yo, I gotta tell you, Frank's car is looking sad. My boy got Mitch Match wheels. Hold on. All the parts car parted out. The original wheel, right here. Look at it. Front ends off of it. Frank, the sheriff is like two cars ahead of you. Alright guys, let's talk about the Lexus for a second. I've driven it a few weeks now, or about a week now. I got the tune and everything thanks to um, uh, ECU Masters. We spent like 45 minutes on the phone, <clears throat> me and that guy, and we got the tune and everything worked out. At least the base map part of it worked out. And uh, just, you know, learning the car, learning the issues with it. Got the ECU tucked back underneath there. That's how nasty this thing is. I got a, got a whole new interior. Hopefully I get for it soon. All right, so not charging, not charging at all. I had an issue where the fuel pump was staying real hot, like, or the fuel pump was staying on all the time, even when the key off it was killing the battery. Just the two center wires right here on the auto air control motor, two center wires, pulled those out. I got to tape those back so they're not in the, not even being used anymore. The ECU controls that. And, <clears throat> excuse me, mass airflow is no longer needed and speed density. So I use the two IET wires off of, and I got to solder these, I want to look nicer than this. But I just got tucked in the air box, so it's reading the, the best temperature that it can. Uh, had a coolant leak at the back on the heater hose that I had to fix. Like someone did some janky stuff at one point. Right there. I put some better clamps on it on the bottom side. Those aren't my clamps still. Those are way too big. And <clears throat> now I'm not charging. The alternator, they said it was new. I know the battery's new. Alternator. So I'm gonna put a new plug on it. I just checked all the wires, put the test light home. Try to get that sorted out, you know, as far as, you know, why in the heck is it, uh, you know, not charging? I think all energy is bad. I don't know where they got it from. But, you know, see this thing? Oh, another small update that I did that uh, I thought I filmed, didn't film at all. Uh, I think I did it on my phone and then deleted everything. So I know the damage I was on this side, I had a busted tail light. Still some damage but I knocked it out and up enough to get the new tail light in so now it's not so bad to drive there's some damage here some real thick body filler but it's not too bad inside the trunk um, I don't know why they would have done that much but she needs a paint job anyways the whole thing just needs to be gone over we got nothing but time ECU's in I crank it let you guys hear it she got a significant exhaust leak Pretty sure it needs a motor mount on the driver's side, you see how, or the passenger side, so the engine kind of leans that way. But she runs. Cluster doesn't work. I think I went over that in one of the other videos. Power steering pump winds. I gotta put a power steering pump in it. <coughs> Excuse me again. The uh, Check engine light is on because I don't have a wide band in it, which just come in the mail the other day, thank goodness. I can get it put in. But watch the battery light when I rev it up. As long as I keep it high, high, high in the RPMs, it will charge, which is kind of yeah, annoying. Um, I found a company that's going to redo the cluster. Eventually, I'd like to have that done because RPM gauges are not, temp gauges are not, and speedometers are not. Also, the backlights don't light up. Nothing works there. You see the, the odometer gets a little dimmer. Clock works. But um, I believe I can get the stepper motors out of the parts car that I found. Hopefully I can get some this little ghetto plate right here where they took the engine out, preventing that from shutting. But uh, look at that, you know. I mean, this works, AC works. Um, 
that just doesn't line up. You can see it some days if you catch the if you catch it just right. I've never really seen one this bad on the inside. It wasn't loved, but I love it. It's missing this whole piece right here. The armrest here. Armrest here. I got a new camera. I hope that it's uh, okay for you guys. That you guys like it. But it died last night when I was trying to test it. So I got the Optima. One of the Optimas out of David's race car I got put back in there. I run it for a few minutes on that. So I tried to get all the oil out of the alternator because the distributor is leaking down onto it. And that didn't help. I think it's already the damage has already been done. And when I bought the car, they said it didn't charge. But um, <clears throat> let's see here. I bought the car, they said it didn't charge. And I drove it down the road, come back, and it was charging just fine. And it charged honestly for about three or four days to be driving this thing. Uh, no problem whatsoever. So we are going to get a few more things handled on this. I want to give you guys a small update. We hadn't really done much. As soon as I get the wide band in, which I'll, I'll be filming that at some point, got an exhaust leak up here I got to fix. Um, then I can get the laptop out, have Frank drive the car and try to iron everything out uh, on the V tables, which seems simple enough. I just want to do some kind of update. We also um, uh, Got a buddy of mine's a quarter over here. Hold on, you guys want to see this? It's a pretty cool car. I gotta get running for a friend of mine. It's an H22. Not getting any fire, should be pretty simple. Charlie, the old nitrous fire truck. You guys see it over here. It needs, um, well, it's got a pretty significant lifter tap and it's down a cylinder. I heard it pretty bad when the nitrous backfired. A friend of mine gave me the maroon hood. It's just not the same as the old hood scooped hood, which is laying back over here somewhere behind all this mess. It's no longer any good. Is that a turbo go kart? That was Nolan's. We used to play with it. I know the turbo wasn't plumbed, but we just had it on there. It sounded good. A little juke, Nissan juke turbo. So we're gonna, um, okay, enough rambling. It's been a, a long nothing video. I'm gonna try to get this alternator charging and We'll get the O2 sensor here in the next video. Y'all seen y'all seen Frank acting a fool in the first part of this video. Just want to do a small update because we hadn't done anything in quite a while. Uh, just you know, just been doing family stuff, you guys. Uh, so, oh, I took this to Texas the other weekend. The truck did fantastic. It needs a bath. Oh, but that's the Lexus update. Hopefully, we can get it charging. I did order a new alternator just in case it was wired right. It'll be here. I can get it on this weekend. Um, you know, I, I do these things out of pocket. I don't do uh, not sponsored or making money off of these just yet. Hopefully one day, yeah, fingers crossed it'll happen. So, um, get an alternator on this, get the wide band in it, get some tuning videos for you guys, just street tunes. I'm not gonna put it on a rollers until it's turbo. Uh, EC Masters is amazing. Best computer I've ever tried to use. You know, like I, I've tuned on a couple different ones. I like it. The customer support's been A1. Those guys are awesome and they send me candy, like airheads I give to my kids whenever the parts come in. So that's been a real treat. Um, but you know, what do you guys think about the, the Nader Jade? This is a dark jade color. It looks like crap, but I'm thinking of painting it. It's like a teal color that comes on them. Uh, I'm trying to find a picture and add it here. And uh, cause the car I'm getting has the spruce interior. It's a little more gray and blue, grayish blue. And um, instead of the tan, so I change it all over, you know, to kind of match his car. It's gorgeous, just wrecked. So, uh, yeah, that's your update. You guys, you know, stay tuned. Um, you know, check out some other videos that are more eventful somewhere over here, over there. You know, like, subscribe, tell your friends. It's SC content, and you know, yeah, we're gonna have a good time with it. I'll stay building.